Hey family, I want to say to everyone, happy life day. Happy L-I-F-E day. Happy life day. Every day that we are living is a day to be happy. So happy life day, y'all. I am Almedia Lee Exum and welcome to my podcast. I want to I want to thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting me. The motivational message of the day is kill the enemy within. Have you ever felt like you were your own worst enemy? I have. Have you ever felt like you you were just holding yourself back? Have you ever felt like you, that like you ruined that relationship, that you bombed that job interview, that you missed out on that awesome opportunity? You know, one of the ego's favorite paths of resistance is to fill us with self-doubt. We have to get our ego out of the way. Most times we are standing in our own way. I found this. This is from Peter Pan. It says, um, you know, the Peter Pan, the cartoon. Uh, it says, um, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. The reasons birds can fly is and we can't is simply that they have perfect faith. For to have faith is to have wings. Oh, that was so awesome. Because, you know, Peter Pan, he could fly. And, you know, in the story, Peter Pan. He had so much self-doubt that he could do and be who he was. And he was getting in his own way. And before you knew it, he realized in the movie movie version too, you guys, you should check it out. He was getting in his own way. He was full of self-doubt. He was his own worst, worst enemy. And then before you knew it, towards the end of the movie, he was able to fly. He gained faith in himself and he was able to fly. So let me read this to you again. It says, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. The reason birds can fly and we can't is simply that they have perfect faith and to have faith is to have wings. And so when we eliminate, when we kill the enemy within, we are free as birds, free as Peter Pan, free to fly. We have wings to do whatever we want to do. when We eliminate the enemy within the self doubt within. We gain confidence through pe- preparation. Everyone else, everything else is beyond your control. So we gain confidence through preparation. Everything else is beyond your control, beyond my control. So basically that means is that no matter what you want to do, whether it's uh, you're, you're, um, you know, you're going to school to be a doctor or to be a scientist or you're training to be in the military or, you know, you're training for a speech to speak in public. You know, or you're starting your own retail store, starting your own fashion store, starting to direct films, whatever it may be. Listen to my voice. You gain confidence and you kill the the enemy within when you have confidence and you you gain confidence through preparation. So everything that we want to do in life, whether it's gain a degree or gain a relationship or excel in our careers or gain a lot of money, if we prepare Correctly, if we do everything we can to put ourselves in the right position, we have more confidence when it's time to execute things that we desire. So through preparation, we gain that confidence we need and that eliminates the enemy within. We can't control everything else. Everything else is beyond our control, but what we prepare for. You all remember years ago, I was battling with weight loss. I gained a lot of weight and I needed to get fit. And I was trying, I tried and failed and tried and failed with losing the weight. I had gotten really big, like technically obese, obese for my height. And um, because I was just eating a lot. And I decided, I decided, you know, I'm going to try Weight Watchers. I was very nervous, you all, because I tried it and I failed. And then I tried it again. And I was still very nervous. I I wasn't sure if I could lose the weight. I began, you know going to with Weight Watchers, there's meetings that you go to. You can decide to just do the online version. And I don't know if Weight Watchers still is still around. Um, but you can go to you can just do it online on your laptop or you can decide to do online and in person, which I decided to do because when I was doing it online at first, I failed and I quit, canceled my membership. I said I need to go in person because when you go in person, 
You're going to meetings with people and yet other people are holding you accountable. So I decided the second time around after failing, you know, even doing that at first, I was failing, just losing the weight for a long time. And then I decided I'm going to do Weight Watchers and I failed. And then I decided, okay, I'm going to do it again. I'm this time I'm going to go to the in-person meetings, right? And I started talking to people in the group who were also battling with weight loss. And we all had different weight loss goals. We're all different ages, different career paths, all type of stuff. But we came together for a common purpose, you know? Um, and so at first when I was in the group, for weeks, I wasn't like losing weight. They were giving us different suggestions on how to lose weight, monitoring our food intake, our water intake, physical fitness, and mental fitness. Mentally, being mentally, you know, having, you know, uh, doing your affirmations is also a form of like um, changing your body and your lifestyle because when you change your mind, you can change your life. And so, you know, I was doing all that and I wasn't losing weight and I was getting nervous. The enemy within told me that I could never lose the weight. You know, because I'm like, you know, I'm already this big. How could I ever lose this weight? You know, and and I just, you know, what I did. I just I just kept trying little by little. I, and I, I kept telling myself. Even when I wasn't seeing the weight loss, I was coming to the meetings, hearing about other people's weight loss goals and we were cheering them on and clapping whenever somebody achieved the milestone. I just told myself, I said, you know. I'm trying. And I kept telling myself. It's possible. It's possible. I could, you know, I could possibly lose this weight. It may not be shown losing when when I want it to be lost or whatever, but it's possible that I can still lose it. And you know, before I knew it, I was losing weight. I was coming to the the meetings talking about, hey, I hit my five my 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 five pound milestone uh, milestone or my ten pound milestone, and you know I I also made sure I I biked this many days a week, and you know I went and I swam, and you know and I I only had a, a cheat sheet day, which is when you like get to cheat and I guess like eat. It's been a while since I did Weight Watchers. It's been years, but. You get to cheat and like have like a dessert or, you know, um, you know, I just and so I would come to the meetings and start talking about what I was accomplishing. And it felt good to be celebrated by my peers, by people in the group who I knew we were we were going through these journeys together. You know, and like I said before, I knew I started to lose the weight. And, you know, years later, years, years later after that, I did that. And once I finished Weight Watchers, I started doing my own mindfulness with my body and losing weight from that. And you know, years later, I am more fit now than I've been in a long time. And I can still get places. I can still do things. I still need to work on some things, but I'm far more fit. I'm even down to the size that I was in high school, you all. Like I'm down to like a really good weight for my, for my height and age, you know, but it all started with me deciding to even though the, the enemy within was so heavy on me, the enemy within was on my shoulder. Every time I looked in the mirror and I saw my weight, you know, the enemy was telling me, oh, nobody wants to be with you. Oh, you know, how can you even love yourself? All of this type of stuff. The enemy within was heavy, but I decided to keep trying and I decided to tell myself that anything is possible. And I had to overcome that enemy within. And I want to encourage you to do the same thing because, you know, the man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Confucius says that. Uh, Confucius said, like, you know, the man who moves the mountain begins by carrying away small stones. And a lot of people say this too. But, you know, I know it from like, you know, Confucius said that. And, you know, I just thought that was so awesome because it's true. We move mountains by first carrying the small stones away, which means do the little things to to um conquer that enemy within you know i kept trying with my weight loss you know and i kept showing up at the meetings every day and i wasn't perfect at first i would slip and eat what i shouldn't have ate i would slip and um not exercise at first you know i would do all types of stuff but i started small i started telling myself i could do it and that it was possible i started carrying away the small stones it takes courage to tackle the enemy within. You know, courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes courage is that little voice at the end of the day that says, I'll try again tomorrow. 
That's how you defeat the enemy within. Tell yourself, even when you have self-doubt, tell yourself, I will try again tomorrow. I will try again today. I will try again in the next hour. I will try and try and try until I'm accomplishing my goals and dreams. You all don't let uncertainties of life stop you from moving forward. The enemy within will try and tell you that you are better off without the desires of your heart. You're better off just giving up. That's what the enemy within will try to tell us, you all. The enemy within will try and tell us that we are better off without the desires of our heart. We're better off just where we are. Look, if there is ever a time to commit a crime, kill the enemy within. Y'all, if there's ever a time to commit a crime, kill that enemy within. Let's replace the enemy within. I just came up with this. (laughs) Let's replace the enemy within with a warrior of possibility. Doesn't that sound nice? The warrior of possibilities, the warrior of of, of possibilities, the warrior of possibilities tells you why you should keep going. The warrior of possibility encourages you to take the risk and see things through to their completion. The warrior of possibilities tells you why it's possible and why it's worth giving it another try. Let's replace the enemy within with a worry of possibility. You all, let's kill the enemy within. That is the motivational message of the day. I hope it inspired you and I hope it motivated you. I want to plant seeds of hope and inspiration within you. I'm a big plant and tree lover. So think of this motivation as fruit, fruit from the tree of life. Thank you all for your support. Remember to click that subscribe button on YouTube (laughs) and you can become a Patreon at patreon.com if you like. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and SoundCloud at Almedia Lee Exum. If no one has told you today, know that you are loved and you are valuable. Remember, remember to have a happy